What's good, YouTube? It's your boy CJ, aka No Limit CJ, y'all. Today, we're going over the best animations in NBA 2K21 current and next gen. Just ask my boy right here, he can tell you. This is literally me playing current gen a month and a half after not playing, and look at, look at the clips we have. These are just, this is a little sneak peek of what we got in the time being. These things will make you feel like the best guard in the game. But before we dive into this video, y'all, this video is sponsored by Star Gardeners. Yes, sir. Hit them up on Twitter and Instagram to get your baddest max fast and easy and legit, y'all. The links are in the description, and go click on that if you want your baddest max. Hey y'all, this gameplay, if y'all are OG to my channel, you guys will remember this gameplay. We versed a whole SS2, and I was like an all-star 2 at the time, but we were playing with an NBA player. NBA player Dorian Finney-Smith, you know what I'm saying? I He invited me to squad when he was in the stage, right? So uh, I'm not going to sum out the whole story. Go click on that video if you guys really want to see it. But listen, I'm using the same SIGs that I use in this video, y'all, and we were going crazy. I'm just going to show you guys some highlights and stuff like that. Then I'm going to show you guys my animations and everything. Y'all see it, bro. Y'all see it, y'all. Look at, look at the logo over his head, bro. Peep the logo. We're going to get a 2K logo one day. You feel me? But listen, this is the gameplay right here. Let me just take it under consideration. I haven't been on this game since, you know, well, the last time I actually played, like, for a whole day besides a gameplay was December 8th. And there was no warm-ups, no nothing, like no my core. I literally just like went into park and started going crazy, you feel me? You guys can watch my current gen video, like when I return with my jump shot. I use the same jump shot I did in next gen. Go to into that if you really want to. But it's like, bro, current gen was actually so easy to just hop on and be good at. I'm telling you, it was actually for some reason, this is the only 2K I could hop on after like two weeks and still be the same player. You feel me? I didn't have to warm up or nothing. But I say all this to say, just like these if I can use these six and be nice at it, if y'all actually practice like current gen players practice and got like good at these sigs bro just just imagine Let's just just think about that for a second y'all could be demons with these sigs right here i'm out here taking on ss2s ss3s elite ones beating them on the court it's just like i return to the game and do it too i don't play i never play this game on a daily basis ever i literally just play this game to hop on have fun you feel me but it was like this time i mean i wasn't hop off until you know this book hopped off you feel me but listen this game was intense, I'm not gonna lie, they were playing me to three, you feel me? So I couldn't really get my shot that I really wanted, and I don't even know how I got open on that shot. I thought, you know, I sold the bag, I thought you contested that, but your boy hit a crazy shot right here. I think this is our last point, just because they were tightening up the three, they're trying to clean up, or play up on the three. But my boy Dorian was playing great defense, bro. We switched a couple times. We had no communication this game at all. You know what I'm saying? So we was playing we was playing great defense for no communication, just giving up no threes. And shutting that boy down, that SS2 down, you know what I'm saying? Just another tackle down. I know SS2 is not really a high rep, but consider me, I'm an all-star three. Like, you know what I'm saying? I played about 390 par games in current gen, and this was in a span of, what, what five months? Four or five months now? It's crazy, you know what I'm saying? It's just like, I had this game for a minute, I just never really liked playing it that much. But I did notice the, like, the most growth I've ever seen in this 2K, which I gotta thank you guys for, like, pushing, you know, leaving a like and all that stuff, really, really helps out more than you could, like, imagine. Like, this, we gained about, what, 1,500 subscribers in 21 itself, 21 current gen and next gen combined. It's really crazy and a blessing just to have you guys supporting me every single day. It's like, you know, I could just, I used to watch my own videos trying to get views, you know what I'm saying? Um, I didn't mention that in my stream when we had 4K. It's just like, I used to watch my own videos, try to get my own views. And it's just, I just want to motivate you guys to keep grinding, bro. If y'all, if y'all content creators, you know, we're all, I'm a small YouTuber myself, you know, I, I, I don't consider small, I don't consider 4,000 subscribers a little bit because I used to always dream of this. When I, you know, started off, I used to dream about 1,000 subscribers and now I'm at 4,000, I'm still considered a small YouTuber and stuff, but it's like, bro, this is, this is truly a blessing. I couldn't even ask for, you know, a better support base. Real talk. I don't consider you guys as fans because I, I, I look at you guys as like friends, like people that care about me it's like you guys actually generally care about me which is like heartwarming you feel me but i know i just got off track i just thought i thought i would just speak something i speak my mind real quick because i didn't really get to make my 4k thank you video yet i feel like i still owe y'all something i don't know i don't know what to do i don't know what you guys will want i'm gonna do some sort of giveaway at 5k but yeah that's that's you know i I don't want to spoil too much, you feel me? But that's just that's just letting y'all know. Back to the game, though, you feel me? That's just like game seven defense. Game seven defense right here contested the shot. I don't know how he stole it. That boy, you know what I'm saying, uses meter green. So it's 1916. This game, you know what I'm saying? That just that low-key scared me. That three hit me, low-key scared me. You know what I'm saying? It kind of I thought we was about to get a fast break right there, but nah, he canceled that. Hey bro, if y'all still watching this video, comment down below your favorite color in comment section. Let's confuse the skippers, you know what I'm saying? I'm just gonna see a bunch of colors and be confused. But I want to see if y'all still rock with me. I want to see if y'all rock with me or one of the six. It's all good either or. I'm just here to spread light when I can and also give you guys what you want. You know what I'm saying? What you guys came for. As you guys can see, we're 
come game down to the wire, pull up. You know what I'm saying? I, we don't miss. Simple as that. If you want to see, you know what I'm saying? Dorian Finney's video go crazy, go tune into the video. But this is the gameplay that, you know, like some comp pulled up on us and we had to, you know, he's, let's see that he's talking to me too. Like, you know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, yo, this game still gives me goosebumps to this day. But what y'all came for, man? The signature animation is the best six in the game. Make sure to drop a like and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And I'm gonna show you guys my six, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna go, go quick little run through through current gen six and then my next gen six. So first things first, you guys can copy them down if, right now if you want to. I'm just gonna go in depth on like why I chose these six. So first of all, dribble style quick. You can go with any of the ones I showed here, but I feel like quick just makes you move faster, dribble down the court faster, stuff like that. So I, me personally, I use quick, but you really can't go wrong with dribble style. Dribble style is not that important in 21 current gen, but it's still effective. I wouldn't go with base, of course, but like I would go with like any of these I showed right here. These are like my personal favorites, like the animations I get. It's like the player stance, so I just go with quick. That's my favorite one right there. Um, next up is my moving crossover Pro 2. I've been using this since Suke 16, and I've been snatching ankles left, right. You feel me? Left, right. I would either go Pro 2 or Pro 8, but Pro 2 is my personal favorite. I feel like it just, you know, it's it's more suitable for me. It's really about your preference, but I love Pro 2's moving cross, man. It just won't let you down. It's just been the best crossover since Suke 16, believe me. Now, moving behind the back, Pro 5, undisputed this year because Pro 6 got nerfed badly. It's like not even good anymore. Like, Pro 6 not good no more. So, I would go Pro 5. It also gives you a speed boost out of it, like the Steezo speed boost that if you guys watch his dribble moves, you know, he does this behind the back all the time when he's trying to run out. So, Pro 5 is the best moving behind the back in the game. Moving spins, um, it's really your preference. I would either go Pro 4 or Basic 1. I didn't, I didn't even have Basic 1 equipped on this player, bro, but Pro 4 I've been rocking with. I mean, I don't really do these spins right here just because that's not part of my play style or 21 that wasn't part of my play style i was just like using this you know i was using meta like the speed boost you know the quick stops all that quick stop master in my opinion i feel like i was the best quick stop but that's just me y'all if y'all want to tune into that video but listen i use moving spin pro 4 i would either go this or basic one i feel like basic one's like more cheesier so um i would go basic one i just don't do these moves personally that's why i never really like cared to buy basic one it also has nothing to do with that glitchy spin back you can get by you know running and flicking the right stick around you know what i'm saying it has nothing to do with that glitchy spin back so this moving spin right here it really doesn't matter now signature size ups um you know, I didn't really try too many. I, you know, I tried some of like the ones you would think of, like Kobe AI stuff like that. But I personally feel like Tim Hardaway is the best, even even better than Curry. Like I just feel like the signature size up Tim Hardaway. You know, it doesn't give you any speed boost glitch like the Derrick Rose one does. But you know, since the teleport speed boost glitch came, I just use you know this zone right here. I feel like I can get back on my dribble when a defender's like trying to trap, like get back in like a good stance because sometimes they're bumping into you, you could just back up so i would uh, other ones i would go with is like d rose trey young kemba's good too and Curry is good too um i tried a bunch of them but i just feel like tim hardaway works the best for me you know what i'm saying basic size ups you guys want to go with pro 5 it allows you to curry side this is the only one that allows you to curry side so i would go pro 5 that's me personally or i would go with pro 3 or pro 2 because they allow you to get different animations like the curry escape but you cannot curry side with those two so i would just go with pro 5 if that was you and we're saying with the size up escape package you want to use pro 5 it gives you that crazy crab you can get i crab so many people with this move right here yo this, this is the best one in the game hands down and last but not least for current gen is wnba 5 triple threat it allows you to shoot from your chest when you pump fake or do a jab step now it's time for next gen if you guys are still watching this video comment down below active i want to see if you guys are made it to this point in the video but this is our next gen signature styles i'm going pretty fast so be ready be ready you guys can go pause this video right now if you guys want to you know copy some of these moves down but these are all my my signature animations just because I don't have like contact dunks and all that on my current gen player, you know what I'm saying? Every build's a demi in this year, you know what I'm saying? But dribble style, the best three are gonna be Shifty, Quick, and James Harden. But 2K does not let you quick stop out of James Harden's dribble style. This is why dribble style matters this year. So you wanna go with Quick or Shifty, those are the best two dribble styles in the game to be able to do the quick stop method if you guys want to tune into that go ahead since your size up you guys want to use Allen iverson this is my personal favorite out of these um these are the ones i would use derrick rose jamal crawford tim hardaway russell westbrook or john wall john wall i just learned about too it gives you a little crazy speed boost but i like ai size up me personally because of you know the speed boost you can get and it's a fake it's like a hezzy bro it's like a, it's like the new hezzy in my opinion if you haven't tried it already you're sleeping on it i'm not gonna lie to you it's one of the best size ups in the game now for your basic size up you want to use pro one no debate on it it's just the fastest one in the game and the most effective now for your size up escape it's really your preference so if you want the curry side you have to use pro two size up escape packages if you want the ai step back you have to use pro one 
to get the AI setback from 2K20. If you guys are 2K20 players, you would know about it. And Pro 3 gives you a little curry escape where you run out of it, you know what I'm saying? Where you like back up and run out of it. So it's really your preference. But you know, just to keep it easy, I would just curry slide. If you guys, you guys probably know what a curry slide. So I would just go curry slide if you really want to. With other ones, you can't really do it. So it's really up to you. M moving crossover is Pro 2, like I said earlier in this video. Pro 2 is the best moving crossover. Behind the back Pro 3, just because it's the fastest one in the game, Pro 5 and Pro 6 are nerfed in next gen, so I would just go Pro 3. Moving spins, you guys want to go a basic one moving spin, it's just the best one in the game, honestly. Pro 4 is not the same, and it's just, I don't really do it like that, but I mean, it's it's effective when you actually get the move off. To be real, dribbling is already stiff enough, so you want to be able to be like feel loose on the court, you feel me? Moving Hezzy, I like Pro 5, Pro 5 is my favorite Hezzy in the game. I don't really do them like that, you know, because there's like different ways of dribbling this year, it's all about math. But that Pro 5 Hezzy is low key tough, I cannot lie. Moving Step Back Pro 3 gives you the James Harden double step back. I will go with it, you could, you could just quick stop out of it, you can speed boost out of it, it's just the best one in the game, hands down. And last things last, the triple threat is going to be normal 8. You can't use WNBA things on NBA players just because, you know, they have WNBA players and next gen. So, I would just go to normal 8 if you guys are into that triple threat style stuff. Now, you guys can go copy my dunks right now. I'm going to scroll down. Just copy everything I got. Pause the video if you have to. These are all my dunks. I also have all the contact dunks just in case you're wondering. These dunks will give you the most contact dunks, and for some reason, they are in reverse order. So if I were you, just put them on backwards because I don't know why, but when I turn off my PlayStation and turn it back on, it just reversed all my dunks. It put them in reverse order. It was so weird. But anyway, I would use these dunks in the, rever like the reverse order. So this dunk first, the set, um, one up second, and so on and so forth. Anyways, y'all, thank you guys for watching this video. It does mean a lot. You guys chose to, you know, stay to the end. If you guys are here at this point, I love you, bro. I love you, for real. I really love you guys for sticking through. I love you guys just for the support. Like, I actually went and dreamed of this a couple years ago, like I said. And it's just like, it's just it's just crazy to me. You know, I'm taking this one step at a day. You know what I'm saying? Keep grinding, whatever you gotta do. You're gonna you're gonna accomplish your dreams, bro. Put, your, put God first, bro, and you're gonna accomplish anything. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe with notifications, too. Make that like button blue. And I'll see you guys in the next video, bro. Peace.